February the 20th, 2023. As you're looking at simultaneous images from the SOHO satellite, this is Lasco C2, at our sun. And on the right, you can see all of the energy you don't see in this left image. That was the X flare. That's a secondary flare that was after the X flare. Then we've had another one on the right, actually, too. Watch the bottom right side. You, again, you can see the energy involved a lot better than you can see on the left. Look at that one right there. That one's not being tracked yet, guys. The second one after the X flare, the one that came out, was the one that hit today check this out same satellite but a much wider image another one this camera on soho is focused out probably a million miles wider than the red one it gives you an overall look there's your flares coming out check the energy coming up timestamps at the bottom on the 18th look at that long-lasting flare we don't know what's going to be tracked out of this one yet we'll have to wait on the cme trackers the cme track they're kind of old the models are and what they're saying here is the cme struck earth's magnetic field on february 10th at 1039 utc notice that um is right at the time we're seeing the uh, rise in the solar wind speed the impact was weak and did not cause a geomagnetic storm, no, but it caused a very major quake over in Turkey and Syria again. That's what I was afraid of. Here is our solar wind speeds in the purple. This is three-day chart. It goes from morning to noon, zero again, midnight. This is UTC time. Purple area solar wind speed. Watch the rises start today. Right there, jump 447 kilometers per second. That's extremely fast. It's unfathomable to the human mind that type speed and it's just it goes in and starts picking up the secondary part starts to come in here on the right and with that many cmes out there's three that were uh launched from the sun since the 18th that what i was going to say is the cme trackers once one cme is it could be halfway here and another one occur they start killing those models and so you really can't use them that much anymore but the solar wind speed will always tell you, and these links are all on our website at BP Earthwatch. Notice your timestamp there. It hit that peak one hour before this quake hit at 1100 hours. You can go back and look at your timestamps on the video. Right there it was a 6.3. It was reported much stronger than that coming in, and it was reported as two quakes. Okay, they it was so close to the coast. They had initially had tsunami warnings out, but this line runs right down through Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives right there. That's the fault zone that's going to be the problem. What I said in the video when the X-Flare came out, I said, we're going to have to watch the pressure points, especially here, because we know that there's been activity in a week, and it hit them at night. It hit, it was early morning there, and it was chaos. I'm going to show you a video at the end of this. But again, uh, you were at 16 kilometers, and uh, it hit hard. Powerful earthquake strikes Turkey-Syrian border. Two consecutive quakes have struck Turkey's Haytay province, one of the areas worst hit by a similar disaster two weeks ago. Over 41,000 reported dead. It says the uh, country's Anadolu agency reported that several buildings collapsed as a result of the new quakes. The Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency called on locals to avoid coastal areas warning about a risk of a rising sea level on the Mediterranean coast. At least three people died and 213 were injured in this fresh quake. Interior Minister Suleiman Soylu said two weeks ago two major quakes with a magnitude of 7-7 and 7-6 hit the Turkish provinces claiming 41,000 lives and affecting more than 13 million people. Monday's quakes was also felt in Syria, which also hit the natural disaster two weeks ago, as well as Jordan, Egypt, and Israel. Guys, I'm going to back out. I'm going to link you to a video, and I want you to put yourself in that position. It was, it was still nighttime when this one hit. And uh, I, I think I mentioned this in the video. When CME's coming in, the solar flare, uh, usually it will affect the sun-facing side. But if it's powerful enough, it compresses the earth and you can feel it on the backside because all of the plates are connected. Go back and watch that 
video about the uh, X 2.2 flare. But I'm going to back out, let you watch this video, it will be their sound on it. It's terrifying to see it. Uh, you'll see people start scrambling in the nighttime to find their kids, things like that. And uh, all you can do is pray for them, and your heart goes out to them, guys. We're watching this. You watch it. It's a heads up. We still have an incoming CME, by the way. Be safe.